everyone, Natural Aquila here. I know it's been a minute since I've made a video, but I wanted to show you guys my hair. So, I have my hair in a flexi rod set. I did sit under the dryer, um, set it with some setting lotion, and these are the flexi rods that I use. Um, I used this one, and then I had the red ones that are slightly smaller than that. I don't have one with me, but I apologize. So, I had these in. And I sat in the dryer for probably about two hours or so, and um, I took a loose, and then I kind of went to sleep with the curls still in place. I didn't separate them. Then the next day for work, Monday, I separated them. So I wanted to show you guys that, and I'll show it to you guys up close. Um, and I said, I don't know if I told you guys, I did this on Christmas, and today is Wednesday, December 28th. I'm turn around, it may be a little frizzy right over here for me just pulling it apart but um as you guys can see it's really curly it's really full I don't have it really big but I have been putting Mazzani's HM, HRM humidity resistant mist on it um to keep it in place and to fight frizz and to just really set it for me so enough of that you guys can see it I pinned the side up because I just wanted to do something a little bit different I didn't really want it to all be down um the way that I panned it kind of gives it some type of look. I don't know, but I like it. <laughs> okay, so I also want to tell you guys about my makeup. I don't know if you guys can really, really see it. But I've been trying out um, this corrector by E. St. Laurent. This right here is like 45 48 bucks, But it has these little soft bristles right here. And you push this down like a pen. And then you kind of just... Do it like that, and then I have some on, so I don't want to waste any, but she lets me see it lightens me up under the eyes. I also do this on my eyebrows to shape them and to, because I haven't got my eyebrows done in a while, so just do that, and it kind of just brightens up my eyes. I have big eyes anyway, so it just gives it an even better look. Um, so with my eyes today, if you guys care to know, um, I have on what I usually wear every day. This is like my everyday eye. I have on, let me see what color this is, by MAC. All oh, this is by MAC for the most part. Um, right over in here is my little highlighter, I guess you could say. It's Patina, and I'm almost out. I've had this for years, though, and I've just started using it, which is really sad. Um, also, right over in here, I have a color that I just started wearing by mac called hepcat frost um and it's very pretty it's like a light purplish color and then i have like a little darker purple in my crease and the name of it is sketch which is this one right here and then um to kind of darken it and contour it a little bit i have i don't know what color this is but it's by wet and wow and it you know, just goes in the crease so and it was this color so that's what I have on my eyes and then I blend blend and blend and of course I told you guys I have the E St. Laurent corrector right over in here um and I blended that down and kind of filled my eyebrows out where it needed to be and I have to tell you guys I gotta do a review real soon and this is like slightly a re review um I tried CoverGirl's Queen Collection I Forgot my makeup bag one morning on the way to work. And to me, without makeup, um, I don't look like anybody that y'all want to see. <laughs> but um, I'm just kidding. But I, I wanted some makeup on. I had to wear makeup. I just felt like it. So I had to stop and go get some makeup somewhere. And I know from, I have a brother that works for Walgreens. And um, I've been in Walgreens plenty of times, went in there, saw the makeup, saw the CoverGirl collection. I'm like, if Queen Latifah is behind this, and I know it has to be good, and I tried it, and I have been wearing it for probably, probably, um, probably about a month and a half now. I have been wearing CoverGirl's foundation, so that is what I have on, and it looks pretty good. Now, if you guys can notice, like right here, um, I contoured my face. And shout out to Alexandra Butler. Y'all look her up on here. Um, I forget what her her name is on here, but I'll look it up for you guys. But she had recommended that I try MAC 
blunt to contour because I really wanted to do it. I really want to learn how to do it. I want to learn how to snatch my nose up like hers. Um, and I'm, I'm practicing. I did snatch it up a little bit. I don't know if you guys can kind of see it like right over in here. But um, she kind of showed me how to do that from her videos. And very easy to do, but it contours your face. So where I want my face to look lighter, it looks lighter. Where I want it to look darker and slimmer, it does. So I like that. I got some here, here, here. And of course on my nose to snatch it up. And then I have on, I don't know what color um, blush this is by MAC, but I've had it for ever. And I just started really using it. And then of course I have on some of my bronzer by Lorac Tantalizer. It's their Bait Matte Satin Bronzer SPF 15 that I have. And I, the top is missing, so sorry. So that's what I have on, and you guys know my favorite, my favorite, favorite, favorite um, mascara is by Maybelline, the pink and green one. Or, and I've also, I also like the Maybelline, or not Maybelline, who is it by? It's in a red one. I, I don't have it with me right now, so. But that's what I have on, so that's what I did with my face. Oh, and my lips. My lips, my lips. I have on color today, and... Because I just had it. There it is. I don't know if it's pronounced NYX or NYX, um, but I have on their soft matte lip cream. This is an SMLC08 San Paulo, I guess is how you say it. Um, I have that on. Then I have on this glimmery lip gloss on top of it. I usually, every day, I wear the NYX, and this one is their SMLC09 one. And I, it's a nude color, and it looks really, really good with that lip gloss. I also have some MAC Prep and Prime Fortified Skin Enhancer Illuminator. This was recommended for me to try under my eye. I might do a video comparison of using both of those. I use those on my dark spots on my face. I have used those on my dark spots on my face, but I tried that and fell in love with it. So I'm going to try this again, but just a little bit of information. I was supposed to talk to you guys about my hair and somehow I'll talk to you guys about my makeup. So if you guys want me to do a makeup video, let me know. If not, this is really all that there is to it. Usually it takes me about 20 minutes to do my face. If I fully do my face. But here's the hair once again. So I hope you guys like it. Very simple but I have um, actually started falling in love with doing styles where I don't really have to do anything else to it for the rest of the week. I can pin this up right here at night and this is what I've been doing for the past couple of nights. I've been pinning this up like this just lightly so that I can go to sleep on this side without worrying about um, messing anything up and um on this side what I did last night was like right here around my face because if I do just so happen to go on this side I went ahead and just put a flexi rod I think I put two no I put one right here and it worked perfectly for me today so anyway I hope you guys like it and look forward to providing you guys with even more videos and I have some giveaways coming up because I'm trying some new products and I cannot wait um, to see what type of style I have come up for this competition that I want to include you all in on. So look forward to um, sharing that with you guys. Until next time, do something nice for yourselves. Do something nice for someone else. Be a blessing and be blessed. Goodbye.